Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Dazza. And today I have a different kind of video for you. Today I have a video of 22 times that that's what she said was legit funny. And the, I don't know, the reason why I'm doing this is because, like, for some reason, this, this line is something that my stepson, he, he loves Jeff Dunham. And he could listen to Jeff Dunham all day, and especially with Ahmed. And when Ahmed does that line, that's what she said. For some reason, that just stuck with him. So it's a running joke with me and him now that like we could be out and about, and we'd hear something in the supermarket. Like he's blind anyway, so like it it will both hear. Like he won't see a bit earlier, but like it could be someone just having a random conversation who we don't know in the supermarket, and he'll be laughing at him, and I'll just nudge him and go, "That's what she said," and it, he just laughs his head off every time over it. So when I saw this video, I thought, "Yeah, I need to do this." And what I'm gonna do is not now because he's sleeping there; it's gone midnight, but. I'll, I'll probably play this video for him tomorrow as well because he'll probably laugh all the way through it. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing. I know the office is in there because I see the thumbnail when it was Steve Carell from the office. But I'm looking forward to seeing what else is in there. And I'm hoping that Ahmed is in there as well. Ah, ah, <laughs> Ahmed is in there from the Jeff Dunham because when I show him this video, if it is there, he's always going to love it. So enjoy. Let me know if there's any more that you'd have added to this. I don't know if there's 22 different times out there that I've heard it being said that's what she said but we'll see <laughs> enjoy is that you i don't know where you found that but i am taking it down <laughs> that's what she said okay <laughs> first of all steve carell owns that's what she said he owns it jim no thanks i'm good that's what she said Ah, <laughs> uh, my mother's coming. That's what she said. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Honestly, do you know what? I I love The Office. I'm not I'm not really a big fan of the the British version of The Office. That I I have watched it, but for me, it's weird. Because there's too much swearing in it. Like, <clears throat> like throughout my life, there's been times where like I swear like a trooper and things like that. But for some reason, that like with that with the British version, it's too much swearing. I don't know why the the US version just seems so much more, I don't know what, elegant as a word, I don't know, but yeah, Steve Carell for me in that is just brilliant. Wow. Wow. One for each. That's what she said. Ah. No, no, I need two. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to, different shows here. House MD is a show that my dad loves and he keeps telling me to watch it. I've, I can count on one hand how many episodes of House that I've seen, but I'm a, I'm a big Hugh Laurie fan. I have been since I watched Stuart Little. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But I'm a, I'm a Hugh Laurie fan, but for some reason I've just never watched House. One for each. That's what she said. Ah. No, no, I need two men on this. That's what she said. No time. <laughs> what she did. No time. Guys, get on this. No, no. Don't, don't make it harder than it has I'm... to be. <laughs> Does the skin look red and swollen? That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. <laughs> You're so much bigger than everybody else, Blake. <laughs> You're like yes. this giant oh, person. Oh, taller or just... Ta taller. Oh, okay. Taller. Taller. Uh, length. Length. Uh, that's what yeah, she said. That's no... <laughs> <laughs> just on stage of the voice as well. <laughs> that's a nice time to get it out there. Really? Really? <laughs> it's nice. Why would he want to pay $10,000 to meet me? Because I didn't want him to meet you. He inserts himself into my business whether I want him to or not, and now he's inserting himself into this. Well, that's what she said. But why wouldn't you want him to meet me? Not since I stopped charging you. That's what she said. <laughs> yes. they, they, they even got Kira Knightley in there as well. Do you know what? <clears throat> Two and a half men that I was watching this. I was kind of binge watching this. It came on like over Christmas and I was binge watching this for so long. And I forgot how brilliant this show is. I know it's not for everyone, but like I didn't mind it when like... Uh, Charlie Sheen left and it was um, oh who came in oh what's his name I know his name it's, it's, I can't remember his name Ashton Kutcher like, I didn't mind it when Ashton Kutcher come in but yeah it missed Charlie Sheen so much we may need to talk how do you do Charlie <laughs> get that ugly thing out of my face that's what she said <laughs> 
<laughs> them, them two as a combo, honestly, it's just brilliant. I love that episode when he had that doll, though. <laughs> I'm getting tired of holding this. Yeah, that's what she said. Dwight, get out of my nook. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, man, Marge is pissed. Look at her, flaring her nostrils, drumming her fingers, making small noises like she's yelling at me inside her head. <laughs> Just take me home. That's what she said. Another good one. You're on fire. <laughs> no, it means that I like her. I think this could get serious. Wow, you're moving pretty quick, aren't you? That's what she said. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You did a that's what she said joke. Because that's what she said. Oh, that's not funny. <laughs> no, comedy is a place where the mind goes to tickle itself. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, no. Office is full of genitalia. Oh, SOS, loke DJL. That's what he says. <laughs> Give it to me, Dan. <laughs> try, try, try and do it in a different language and just mess up completely. And I'll take it. <laughs> That's not the first time Dave's heard Lisa say that. <laughs> Come on, give it a rest. And I'll bet that's not the first time Lisa's heard Dave say that. <laughs> Look, you really don't want to get into this. I bet Dave's never heard that one before. <laughs> This is a very sensitive area. Oh, uh, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm telling them. And I'll bet that's not the first. Actually, that doesn't really work. Does it? I can't believe you came. That's what she said. <laughs> and you were directly under her the entire time. That's what she said. <laughs> Excuse me. That's what she said. Miss Levinson told you that she was your direct superior. Well, what? Why would she say that? Can we just move on to another question? No, wait, I don't, I don't understand who's on record as saying this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like knowing the time and place when you can actually say it. And like for that show, The Office, he, he just didn't. Can we just move on to another question? No, wait, I don't, I don't understand who's on record as saying this. <laughs> oh, it's so nice of you and your friends to visit me, Alex. Slim Jim? Thank you. Thanks. Oh, Alex, I made you a little something. Wow, it's beautiful, but I think it's way too big. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know what, honestly, it's something that sometimes you don't even find it that funny in terms of, like, the context, but you can't help but laugh. Mm, I doubt she's ever said that to you. <laughs> Remove pads. Wait, listen. I'm usually the first guy to toot my own lower horn. But... I'll say. Woo. But in this case, I, I just don't think it's going to do any good. That's what she said. <laughs> Woo. Oscar. I haven't seen Future Armor in years. I used to enjoy watching that when it first came about. I might need to catch up on that a bit. It's going to do any good. That's what she said. Woo. <laughs> Oscar, would you reach over and touch his thing? That's what he said. Right, guys, because of gay? Does that include that? <laughs> it's like, all right, guys, come on, because of gay. <laughs> That's what he said. Right, guys, because of gay? Does that include that's what she said? <laughs> mm, yes. Wow, that is really hard. <laughs> I, do you know what? I remember this episode. I love this episode. So he <laughs> he got told that he wasn't allowed to say anything like inappropriate around the office and things like that. And then obviously Jim Jarrett said, like, "Does that include that's what she said?" And he tried his hardest to get him to say it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, that is really hard. <laughs> you really think you can go all day long? <laughs> well, you always left me satisfied and smiling. So. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Honestly, I feel like most of this was just made up in the office, but I feel that that line was made like popular by Steve Carell in the office. Like, obviously, it had been said a lot before and it's been said a lot after, but yeah, the, just the context in the way they done it with Steve Carell was absolutely brilliant. And yeah, I think I think my stepson might like this. I'll, I will play it for him tomorrow. But guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you do want me to do, if you want me to do other videos like this, then let me know in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to 
be doing them. But yeah, until then, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Have a nice day. Stay safe, be kind, and I will see you in the next one. Oh.